In this video, I'm going to show you how to assess regional and segmental intervertebral motions of the lumbar spine in extension in sitting position. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Passive assessment of the quantity and quality of segmental intervertebral motion, also known as motion palpation, is part of the diagnostic clinical expertise of manual practitioners to guide decisions on a therapeutic strategy for patients with spinal pain. Hypomobility indicates mobilizing interventions, while hypermobility calls for a stabilizing approach. A systematic review done by Van Treifel et al. in the year 2005 evaluated the reliability of passive segmental assessment of the lumbar spine and found an overall reliability of poor to fair. For this reason, the clinical value of passive lumbar spine assessment is weak. In order to perform regional range of motion assessment for lumbar extension of vertebrae T10 till L4 in sit, have your patient sit upright at the edge of the bench. L5 till S1 cannot be properly assessed in sitting position as the facet joints are already in a relative opening position through the posterior tilt of the pelvis in sit. The bench height should be adjusted so that your patient's shoulder is at the same height as your own and the examiner is standing posterior laterally on the side to be examined. Then ask your patient to cross his arms in front of his chest and establish contact with the patient's back on the contralateral side. Bring your patient slightly forward at the hip joint and fixate your patient's sacrum with the outside of your hypothena eminence. Now perform a homonymous 3D movement with equal components of extension, ipsilateral lateral flexion and ipsilateral rotation by moving further behind your patient and by slightly sinking through your knees. This movement causes maximal compression of the facet joints on the side of the movement. The whole movement is judged on resistance during motion and at end range, range of motion as well as possible pain provocation. In order to continue with segmental assessment of say L2, L3, have your patient sit straight again and fixate spinous process of L3 with a pinch grip then bring your patient slightly forward at the hip again and perform a maximal homonymous 3D movement with equal components of extension, ipsilateral lateral flexion and ipsilateral rotation again. In order to test each component of intervertebral motion, slightly move out of the end range and now test extension between L2 and L3 by pushing the spinous process of L3 ventrocranially. To assess the rotation component, move to the ipsilateral arch of L3 and push it ventrally. And for the lateral flexion component, put your thumb between the spinous processes of L2 and L3 and perform lateral flexion with your upper hand. Each component is judged on resistance during motion and an end range and feel as well as possible pain provocation compared to the segment above or below. Okay, this marks the end of our video on intervertebral motion assessment of lumbar extension in sitting. If you want to know how to assess intervertebral motion assessment of lumbar extension in prone lying position, click on the video right next to me. As always, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to give this video a like and share it if you liked it. And if you want to see more of us, check us out on our other social media channels. For all of our videos, including articles, statistical values and more, have a look at our very own assessment ebook and app. Links can be found in the description down below. This was Kai for Physio Tutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.